Alright you guys, I'm here to review Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods. This is without a doubt the best Dragon Ball Z film ever made. I don't care what anybody else says, I fucking loved this one. This one is more about the moral ways of respect. You have to respect one's opponent, die enemy, and all that stuff. And I appreciate that about this. <clears throat> so... The story basically takes place after the Majin Buu saga, and you know, stuff like that. Um, Buu's in here, of course. Uh, but you get this this separate planet where Whisk awakens Lord Bills after Lord Bills has been asleep for 39 years. And Lord Bills has a dream about the uh, legendary Super Saiyan God. So he mentions this to Wilsk. Wils then um, later tells him that Frieza has been killed and defeated by a Saiyan. Um, since Lord Bills wanted to kill Frieza next because planet Vegeta was too far for him to destroy. He was going to go after Frieza next but Frieza was already been defeated. So he goes, he makes it about himself to find out who kills, who killed Lord Frieza. And when he finds out Goku has done it, he seeks to go to the, the planet of the Kais or not Supreme Kai, Northern Kai's planet, to ask Goku that he that that he does he know what his super legendary Super Saiyan God is. Goku says he knows what a Super Saiyan is, but he's never heard of a Super Saiyan God, you know. So basically, Goku shows him the ways of the three classes of Super Saiyans, and he issues the challenges the challenge to Bills. Bills accepts it and defeats Goku in two hits. Bills later then goes to Earth to find out if the other remaining Saiyans know anything about a Super Saiyan God, which none of them do. But because of a little incident with Pudding, leads to the biggest brawl in the history of the Z Fighters. Okay, and it's awesome. Okay, this movie is sheer awesomeness. Okay, not to mention it teases a little bit of GT because you know in Dragon Ball GT. Gohan and um, Fidel has a kid and they name, name her Pan. And this film is announced basically that she's pregnant with Pan. But she hasn't named it, she hasn't named it Pan yet. The only reason why I know this is because I watch GT. So, yeah. And her conceiving Pan plays a big part in this movie. Okay? Even Shinlong, the dragon, the very mystical dragon wets himself when he finally meets Lord Bills. Lord Bills is a big deal. So, yeah. Lord Bills is like this rabbit-like rabbit-like creature. I would say like rabbit-like human, but he's not like human. He's like a a sphinx. There you go. He's like a sphinx. I hate the way he dresses, like all Egyptianized and stuff like that. But don't underestimate the way he looks. He's powerful as shit. He'll probably make Broly his bitch. <laughs> so, um, he Goku returns to Earth as well and says, "Don't destroy the Earth just yet. Uh, give us a time enough time to find out how to do this Super Saiyan God, because Goku believes he can reach Super Saiyan God." And Bills accepts. So, that's when Shenlong comes into play. But Shenlong also says, you need five Saiyans, good-hearted Saiyans, by the way, to hold hands and, and transfer each power into that one individual. They try it the first time and fails. But because of Adele's pregnancy, it actually works. And Goku reaches Super Saiyan God, which is he has, which almost looks like the Kaoken technique. Even said by, uh, I believe, Krillin, who said, that's just regular Goku because his hair is red. But, when you when he was in Kaokan stage, his whole body was red. It wasn't just his hair. This one, is just his hair and his eyes are red. So, yeah. Another thing that kind of makes this makes GT non-existent is the Super Saiyan God technique. Because in GT, Goku goes from Super Saiyan 3 to Super Saiyan 4. So, does this mean Super Saiyan 4 is no longer existent? 
is this the new Super Saiyan 4? Because, yeah, that, that kind of makes GT null and void right now. It makes everything in GT undone. Okay, so that kind of, you can kind of take it up to yourself if you want to make this canon to GT or not. But, yeah, that kind of that kind of bothered me because I think I'm the only one in the minority who likes Dragon Ball GT. Yeah. <laughs> but once Goku does reach Super Saiyan God, he doesn't like it because he, you know, Goku's pride. He rather did it, do it all himself. He he rather reached that level by himself instead of borrowing from other people's powers, which pisses him off. So yeah. But I love the animation in this film. The animation is that of Dragon Ball Z Kai. Such clean, crisp animation. The action is just, just, just great, man. And it teaches, like I said before, the moral of respect thy, thy opponent, okay? What I mean by that is you have to watch this movie to know what the hell I'm talking about. Because, um, Bills is not really a villain. I wouldn't call him a villain, because villains don't give a shit about nothing, okay? Bills is more like an adversary, okay? He keeps his word. He he, he has a a well-mannered figure to him. He's not just, oh, I'm going to destroy the world and I'm going to kill you. No, 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 no. He treats you with respect. And if you treat him with respect, he'll show respect back to you. That's what I liked about Bills. He wasn't just another character for them to fight and kill. He was actually a character for them challenge-wise. He wasn't there just to destroy the planet Earth. But if he, if Goku and them lost, he would destroy Earth. But, uh, yeah, that, that's the main reason why I like this one the most. Because it teaches that you don't always have to destroy the planets. In order just to fight a worthy opponent. You can fight thy worthy opponent. And be happy with that. And that's what we get in this film. That's why. Battle of Gods gets some. Badass silver approval. Do yourself a favor. And watch this movie. I'll have the thing down below. For you guys to go check it out. It took me all fucking day. To figure out the damn. How to find out the real. To find the real movie. To Battle of Gods. All the other ones have been duds. So, yeah. Hey, it's not disappointing. I loved it. And if I love it, all the Z fans will love it too. Trust me. Okay. So, let me know what you guys think about Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods down below. Did y'all like it? Did y'all hate it? I didn't even know this was a movie that came out in theaters until I seen it on Wikipedia in the 2013 section. I'm like, holy shit, this came out in IMAX? Not in art theaters, but maybe I think in Japan. So, that sucks. And no, there's no dub version. This is in Japanese, but it has the English subtitles. So you do have to read it. So, yeah. So yeah, I'm out.